Silver prices still keep dropping and I'm still buying. Let's get to the video. Hey guys, Pedrox Stack here and I'm back with more content for you guys and girls today. Now before I start, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you go down there and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and don't forget to comment down below. All that stuff really helps out the channel. Now before I start, if you notice my voice is a little crappy, I'm sick, I got a really bad cold, so uh, bear with me if you can. But um, yeah, silver price continues to drop. We are actually going into a great dip. Um, this year um, started off you know seeing silver jump up and gold jumping up and I'm like ah, well the dip was nice while it lasted last year um, well you know what this year hasn't actually been so bad um, we've had some good dips um, especially towards the end of the year um, I'd say at least from July onwards um, silver's been in that 22 um, to 23 range um, we've had a couple spikes at like 25 and that was more like earlier in the year um, where people were actually thinking it was gonna hit 30 and I mean it was possible I mean anything's possible especially with this economy today but um silver's actually been a uh, staying at that 22 to 23 dollar range uh, high 23s um, right now last I checked it was about a uh, uh, high 22s um, so it's definitely a great time to buy it. Uh, I mean, it's not a dip like last year where we've seen $17, $18 an ounce silver, um, but what it's at right now is a lot better than what it was at earlier this year at $25, almost $26 an ounce. Um, but the big thing is the premiums. I've seen premiums drop a lot um, across the board on all types of silver. For example, your 90% junk silver where we were seeing at 20X to 21 to 24X. I'm seeing it a lot now at 18X, 19X, um, some places even as low as 17X, which is great for 90% uh, constitutional silver. I mean, um, for us old timers that's been stacking for a while, I mean, remember getting junk silver for almost spot price, right? Well, Unfortunately, it's gotten very popular through the years. People really noticed how important it is to stack, so that really drove up the prices. Plus, you know, it's hard to get. You know, the more years that pass, it's harder to get because how popular it is. And plus, I mean, they don't make any more of it. But this year, we've seen some low prices on 90% constitutional silver, um, especially on 10 ounce bars. For example, I started stacking the Britannian RCM bars. I remember those bars being. Um, a very very high premium on, on those bars um, yeah there's still a premium on them now but not as much um, actually probably like an average of ten dollars more than your average generic bar so I've been a uh, definitely backing up the truck on those bars um, I mean they were beautiful bars I just never stacked them because of the premium so I'm taking advantage of that and most importantly American Silver Eagles when was the last time we seen American Silver Eagles at around four to five dollars over spot? So what they're selling American Silver Eagles now is pretty much what an average Maple Leaf goes for, um, about I'd say high threes to four dollars over spot. Um, this year I've seen Eagles sell for as low as four dollars over spot. Now for American Silver Eagles, and I don't know if you guys know the history in the last three years um, since COVID. American Silver Eagles have been going for anywhere from 10 to 15 to $20 over spot. I mean, crazy expensive, where it didn't make sense for us stackers to stack this stuff. I mean, of course, you had your regulars, no matter what the premiums were on American Silver Eagles, they would buy them regardless. But for the majority of us stackers, we stayed away from Eagles because, I mean, what you're paying to get a tube of Eagles, which carries 20 ounces so there's 21 ounce coins in these tubes um there are upwards to like eight to nine hundred dollars a tube i mean that's a kilo bar what you can get for the price you're paying for one tube of american silver eagles and mind you a kilo silver bar is 32.15 ounces of silver so you're getting an extra 12 ounces of silver a little over 12 ounces of silver um, for the price you're paying for a tube of eagles which is 20 ounces 
So, you know, I've been taking advantage of the American Silver Eagles. I mean, American Silver Eagles is always a favorite coin of mine. I've stacked it since I started stacking. Um, I bought Eagles cheap back in the day. But after COVID um, and the prices going up on Eagles, I stepped away from Eagles and started taking advantage of other government-backed bullion coins, and 10 ounce bars and kilo bars. Um, my s choice after the Eagles were Canadian Silver Maple Leafs. And I was just waiting till the day until premiums on Eagles would drop again, which I never thought would happen again. I thought the days of cheap Eagles was done, you know, it was gone. It wasn't going to happen again. So this year was a shock when I seen uh, the premiums drop. I've seen them drop um, to from 15, 20 to 15 down to 10. And then it worked into like the uh, single digits at around nine to eight over spot and then it dropped down to six and then five and it got as low as four dollars over spot and hey maybe maybe by the end of the year maybe we'll see three dollar over spot eagles which would even be better so this year after a two year long wait i decided to stack another monster box of american silver eagles and as you guys know, I started this monster box towards the end of July, the last week of July. So far, I got up to 10 tubes of American Silver Eagle. So that's a total of 200 ounces in this box. So almost halfway done, right? Well, I made another purchase from Boyne Exchanges. I bought two more tubes. So that brings me up to 240 ounces. Well, that same night I ordered this these two tubes I was deciding if I should buy three or two so I ended up buying two and then literally five minutes later I made another purchase and bought another tube so that should be coming in um, shortly I had to end up sending that to a different address and uh, my friends gonna send it back to me um, just because in New York if you don't spend over a thousand dollars or a thousand dollars or over You're gonna pay taxes on that. So I didn't really want to pay tax on that uh, lonesome tube um, um, They were gonna hit me with like fifty to sixty dollars just in taxes for that tube um, Now if I made the decision and I ordered all three of them at a time I wouldn't have had paid tax or if I just stayed uh, with two tubes I wouldn't have paid tax but since this was a loan purchase, and then I decided a few minutes later to buy that uh, third tube, um, that wasn't counted towards this transaction, so um, they were going to charge me tax. So I sent it to a buddy that uh, lives in a state that doesn't charge tax on metals, and uh, he's going to send it to me. So, yeah, I had to pay for shipping for the, the, the third tube, but um, in the long run, it saves it's better than paying the tax on it um, and don't get me wrong I don't mind paying my fair share but when it comes to metals I don't like paying taxes um, so in New York you have to pay a thousand dollars or more to stay away from the tax and I'm hoping they uh, get rid of that I remember in Virginia um, they used to charge tax it was like Florida any but anything over five hundred dollars um, you weren't taxed on anything less than five hundred dollars you were taxed on um, recently they lifted that um, about a year ago two years ago maybe no it was a year ago and uh, hopefully uh, New York gets around to that and drops the taxes but uh, let's open this up all right guys we got two more tubes of 2023 American Silver Eagles that's 40 ounces let's go so there's 220 240 so once we get that tube right there, we're going to be officially over the halfway mark of filling up this monster box. Because um, that, with that tube right there in the middle, that brings me at 260 American Silver Eagles. So it's 260 ounces. And I'll just need to finish up this side. And I'm with that tube there. That would bring me to 13 tubes. I would just need 12 more for this side. Um, and being that I started this challenge, that last week of July which I believe was July 26th I'd have to look back at my purchase my purchases but um if it was July 26 and we're about two months in and I'm already halfway uh, finished 
I think I can manage to finish the other side and cl complete this box by the end of the year. That is my major goal. So uh, as long as I work towards that, I think I can get it done. And as long as these premiums on American Silver Eagles continue to stay where they are, I can definitely finish it. Um, I also have to think about, you know, Christmas is around the corner. Um, all my kids' birthdays, my wife's birthday, all is in the span from October to January. Um, so those are things that are going to set me back. But um, as long as I uh, play my cards right, um, the premiums on American Silver Eagle stay where they are, or maybe even go lower, um, I should be able to finish this box. And what I'm thinking, I think the American Silver Eagle premiums will uh, stay the way they are till the end of the year. I mean, in reality, we only have like two and a half, three months left until uh, 2024. And I think that we might uh, be able to uh, hold steady on these Eagles. And I'm hoping. I'm hoping premiums continue to stay, um, stay low. And I'm hoping spot price continues to stay low. Um, plus, I mean, I don't know if you guys have been watching my channel or Tuesday Night Trash Talk with me and Triple P, but we also have a 10 ounce silver bar bet. Um, so as long as silver stays under $30 um, by next year, um, by the end of this year, um, I'll get a free 10-ounce bar. So I'm hoping it uh, goes in the favor for me. But um, yeah, guys, that's the video for today. Premiums are great right now, especially on American Silver Eagles. If you hadn't had the chance to stack American Silver Eagles, um, now is your time. I mean, premiums are low on American Silver Eagles. Um, well, I mean... There's other items out there that have a lot lower premiums, but for what American Silver, Silver Eagles have been selling for, um, now it's definitely time to buy them because uh, it wouldn't surprise me uh, if the American Silver Eagles jump up um, in next year and they go back up to maybe $15, $20 an ounce, uh, 20, 15 to $20 over. Um, but let's uh, cross our fingers. But all right, guys, Patriotic Stacker is out keep on stacking and uh stay safe guys peace